<laughs> oh my gosh okay guys um i just need to tell you though i'm not angry in this video i was just gonna edit the voiceover that i made for this video and then i sound so mad and it actually made me laugh so hard because i really sound so mad for some reason i feel like when I was recording that, I was trying to speak really loudly so I can drown out the noises so that somehow my mic would only hear my voice. But it turns out, it came out like I was angry and screaming. Not really screaming, but like, you know, raising my voice. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. But you know what? I'm gonna leave it like that. But please, please, <laughs> I wasn't mad. I'm not mad at all. <laughs> oh gosh. Dun, dun, dun. Art secret quill brush first impression slash review by yours truly, the cheapstake Nixie. I already feel like this is a good start because the intro is very cringy. I guess I could have just used a sound effect, but nah, I chose to do it myself. At least it lets you know that my art videos is very personal or whatever. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. I don't know what I'm talking about. I got the Art Secret Quill Brush number 2 and number 8 here. I got it from Shopee, so if you're in the Philippines or somewhere in Asia, you can definitely order it from Shopee. But if you're from the other places other than Asia, I think you can get it from AliExpress or Amazon. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be really easy to find these in different online shops. They're very cheap too. I think there's quite a bit of shops in Shopee that sells these but I'm just gonna link down below the shop where I got these and I think they are the ones who sells these the cheapest and there's a lot of positive reviews. That's why I didn't hesitate to get them. I actually don't have the list right now of how much they are so I'm just gonna show it here on the screen the price of the number two brush and the price of the number eight brush and there you have it unfortunately before i do buy stuff now i research if people actually did a review about it in youtube and i only found one video but that video already convinced me to try it out because number one it's not that expensive it's not even considered expensive but i'm pretty sure in amazon or aliexpress or whatever this is sold in set which is i think is better because here you can only buy this individually so i got number two and number eight and the first thing i notice of course is the packaging and i love how they are in the tube and they're not just in the tube there's like plastic around the bristles so they don't get bent somehow while being delivered to you so that's really a big yes to me i like when the sellers keep your things secured second of all the way it looks i think it looks awesome i really find it awesome the reason also why i wanted a quill brush is the fact that you can get it looking like this with like leather or fox leather around the bristles and then wires i just really think it looks freaking amazing that's why that's also a plus to me thirdly is the weight for me it's not heavy at all maybe it's because i'm used to using brushes that have long handles super long handles and i have been looking for a good brush that has short handles and stuff but i find these really light even though it has water 
in it in the bristles i mean so those are the first things that i find really good about these but then when i tried to use it the glue that holds the bristles together is so dang strong like it took me five minutes to get rid of the glues on the first brush here which is the number two because i was being too careful with it but then i tried it on the bigger brush and well i did it much faster but just please note if you do ever buy this it has a very strong glue on it and you might want to take time to get rid of those glues and then at first on the number two brush i didn't see any fallout there's no hair falling out when i was just trying to get the glue off of the brush but when i got to the bigger one there's quite a bit of a fallout i'm not gonna lie there's quite a bit of a fallout while i was taking off the glue usually that would bother me a lot but for some reason on these brushes i feel like they do fall out but i have tried worse brush than these that's why it didn't really bother me i've tried another brush that literally falls out every time so just watch out for those two i'm really hoping that well i got all the loose hairs off while i was taking the glue off of it but i'll get to when i was using it in painting something a little later when i got the glues off of the brush well i was very surprised because the bristles are very very soft and i have never used a brush that has a very very soft bristles so i know for a fact that these bristles will actually hold a lot of water although i'm not gonna say that these bristles are all squirrel hair on the review that i watched he said that looking at it it looks like it is mixed with like real hair and synthetic hair but i really didn't want to get into that since i really don't know the difference between a real hair and synthetic hair for now at least all that matters to me is that it holds a lot of water so we're just gonna take his words and agree that this is a mixed type of hairs and i did read on the product details that it has squirrel hair perhaps fox squirrel hair and fox horse hair i didn't even know that you can actually take a horse hair and make it into a watercolor brush i didn't know that that was a thing i have heard about the squirrel hair but yeah, not the horse hair thing. So that's kind of interesting. And here you can see that I did a test about how many water and pigment these brushes actually hold and how fine the number two brush can go. I'm not gonna use the bigger brush on doing something with a fine detail because that's purely for covering a huge part of the painting that is the purpose of the big quill brush for me at least so the only brush that i tested out for fine lines fine detailing was a number two one and you can get it really thin but you have to like adjust to it it doesn't really go to a fine fine point which is just fine for me considering how cheap they are so that fact didn't really bother me and as you can see here both brushes hold a lot of water and pigment and you can actually go on and on and on with it and i like the fact that i don't need to dip my brush so many times on the water for these kind of brushes so that was my first impression while i was just trying it out using it for swatches let's actually paint with them So I just got done painting with this brush. It's a little bit dry now, these brushes. It's still kind of hard though when it dried. It's because I finished painting last night and it's another day. Anyway, uh, this painting don't look finished because I'm planning to do something else with it and it doesn't require these brush. Overall, I love these brush. I don't regret buying them because it did its purpose 
It wasn't perfect, but it wasn't bad at all as well. It held a lot of water and pigment. Yes, the bigger brush had quite a bit of a fallout, but when I was using it here, I think I used it here, there was no hair that fell out. While the smaller one, I did find one or two hair that fell out and that's just about it. I'm just really hoping that it doesn't continue to fall out until there's no hair left in the brush. But so far, I really loved it and it was so soft considering how cheap these was. So I couldn't really ask for more, really. I just overall love it. I really think this is worth it. it it's really cheap so you can't really expect it to perform like magic. There's going to be a little bit of a problem, but the only problem that I got from it really is that it doesn't have super fine point, especially this number two, but you can if you work your way around it, like in all other not perfect art materials. You can work yourself around it or with it so that you can get the effect that you wanted except if the material is really 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 bad like the papers I was using in my inktober but I like it 8 out of 10 if you want to try it out yourself go ahead art secret it's a really really cheap brand of quill brushes all right i hope you find this video a little helpful or informative please do watch other people's review about this brush because they're more professional and they know more of what they're talking about <laughs> i'm just a newbie if you're a newbie too we're just alike you know and this is my first impression slash review of these brushes thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.